Okay, Maddie, I got this challenge for you. It's to make a string of Christmas light, uh, light back up with 13,000 volts. Yes. You can see there's a Corona transformer that came out of a copy machine. 13,000 volts here, whichever way you want to see it. Now, it's currently on, you can see. Okay. Now, we, now you see here. It's a dead string of lights. Now I'm going to take this plug to to prove to you that it's dead. See, it's just not lit. Now I'm going to take it. Now I'm zapping 13,000 volts through it. Now I plug it back in. It's lit. And I'm pretty sure you, that your viewers will want to know why. In each one of these Christmas lights, you can't see it. Well, let me find a clear one here. Uh, here, let me unplug this light so you can see. There we go. Now you can see the filament and see the thing on the very bottom that is a shunt resistor and so when that filament blows that shunt resistor is supposed to take over but sometimes it doesn't work that way so if you zap some high voltage through it it will get a string of lights lit back up now you'll notice that the other part's not lit so what I got to do yeah. I'm taking a bulb out because that the completed circuit will stop the high voltage from arcing into the dead lamp. Again, I, I zapped it, plug it in, the other string of light is the other part of the string of light is fixed. I'm gonna now I'm gonna plug this one in. There we go. Now you can, now you can uh, fix the dead string. Now you can figure out which bulb is dead and can get them all replaced. Now let's see if you're up for that challenge. So zap them up. That's right, zap them up. And Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.